Here at the Barton Springs Edwards Aquifer Conservation District, we are committed to conserving, protecting, recharging, and preventing the waste of groundwater. For the Barton Springs segment of the Edwards Aquifer, we estimate there's about 60,000 people that depend on the Edwards Aquifer as the sole source of drinking water. As we expand that into the Trinity Aquifer that we also you know, manage and regulate, you know, where there could be some more tens of thousands of people that depend on, on that water. When it comes to groundwater protection, the district has some very specific responsibilities, especially pertaining to well construction. Now, we only have authority to regulate pumping from the aquifer and how wells are put in. But the key thing for the district is our well construction standards. And these standards pretty much apply around the state. You know, we have some factors, you know, that we customize certain things to protect our aquifers in a certain way. But it's usually the well construction standards that are such that contamination that might occur at the surface will not get into the aquifer through those wells. As far as land development or how things are built at the surface, that's where the district relies on various partners. But so much of the contamination that can occur in an aquifer will come from the surface and very often from a leak or a spill of some, some kind of toxic substances that will make its way through the, the surface into the subsurface and ultimately contaminate the aquifer. And so for that, we, we rely on other partners in groundwater protection. At the state level, we have the Edwards rules and other types of rules that help protect groundwater quality. The city of Austin has some very strict rules on how construction is done in order to protect groundwater and, and, and surface water. And counties and other agencies do that. We have the state level, the Edwards rules, uh, which determine how you build and construct things or what's limited over the Edwards Aquifer. And there's some of the rules that apply to other, other aquifers in, in, in the state. And we have uh, the Water Development Board that helps with analyzing samples of, of groundwater. Uh, and the City of Austin has rules that protect you know, the aquifers and watersheds. So we depend a lot on that to do the, you know, the initial protection and then we have our you know, well construction standards as I mentioned and then we also do a lot of sampling of groundwater you know, in wells and springs to see how well is all this working. Do we have areas that we need to worry about? Where could there be contaminants getting into the groundwater that we need to be aware of? Conservation is key when it comes to protecting our groundwater. But ultimately, we need to factor in conservation of the groundwater. That's one of the best ways to protect groundwater, water quality. You know, by using less water, then we're causing less impacts to the aquifer, uh, less infiltration of contaminants. Uh, we're avoiding lowering water levels that could cause saline water to move in from the sides of, of some aquifers. And ultimately, we just need to maintain the resource so we have water for those that are depending on it. And we have water flowing to the springs that support you know, recreational needs and endangered species. 